Good morning, Skegness. And here we are on Skegness Beach, yet again. We've come out a bit later today because uh, when we came out the other day, the tide was uh, it was quite in a long way, and it was a bit hard to get on the beach, really. So, uh... so this is what we've done, and uh, we're walking up towards North Shore. Not all the way, just doing a double one. Still not sure of restrictions on the beach, so uh, just being a little bit careful today. Uh, just before I came out, um, as we've come out later, I fell back to sleep, and God, did I have a mad dream. Anyway, it was... Uh... Oh, this is my mad dream, I'll tell you about it. Um, so, recently... Um... Bailey... Recently got a new car. Well, new, I say new car, second-hand new car. It's new to me, and uh, bought it locally. And uh, it didn't actually come with any service history, or though I thought it didn't come with any service history. But after a few checks with Audi, turns out that uh, it's got ten stamps from them, so that's okay. Then last year, it. Uh, had another stamp with another dealer, so I had a full uh, stamp there, so that's 11 stamps. And then uh, this year it's been to Halfords and had a full service history with them, so it's got 12 stamps, so that's good. Uh, every car I buy, no matter what, it has a new cam belt. You can't be too careful. can't be too careful because uh, you just don't know with any car you could say it's had a cam belt but my personal opinion is I'd rather pay a few hundred quid and I get it done then I know it's good for another 80,000 miles which I'll never do you know but uh, yeah, it was just this weird dream I had I think I've gone off a tangent now about what dream it was uh, Bailey's got a sprint on. Uh, somebody up there with a the tent. Lots of people up there. I just wait for the beach to clear a bit and, uh, so Bailey can get a good run and not be distracted by things. I was out the other day walking through uh, George Walk, I don't know if you know it, uh, off Borough Road, and uh, I don't think they were shooting at me. Well, you never know in this town. But uh, somebody had an air gun, or some sort of high-powered air gun, maybe a gas gun, shooting uh, pigeons and stuff. I didn't actually know, but it is illegal to shoot wild birds, uh, which is a big no-no. I'd like to thank everybody for their views. Would like to get the subscriptions up, if possible. Uh, that would be appreciated. Yeah. So I'm stuck on luck, unlucky 13 and I mean I've had 500 views so those 500 people could just click on the subscription there's no fee or anything uh, that would be fantastic and uh, I know my blogs might seem a bit boring over the same thing but this is my life you know I don't have anybody in my life well I've got my mum but she's she's well she's not there so uh, mentally in the mind but uh, no, I don't have anybody I've got one close friend but, but uh, with the lockdown you don't really see anybody do you I went on a uh, I went on a bit of a date yesterday well it wasn't a date I just met up with somebody the problem is come on ladies if you're gonna go out on a date don't bring up your past. I'm not interested in it. You know, I don't need to know about what your husband did and what your husband didn't do, or your boyfriend did and what your boyfriend did. It just puts a damper on things. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, she was all right as a person, but uh, she was a skinhead and had different colour hair and stuff. So, uh, and didn't... Uh, oh, well. It just didn't go very well, so... Uh, Instead of inviting her in for a coffee, I just made my complimentary dues and says, oh, well, we'll just leave it at that. And uh, 
don't think it was for me. I do have a type, usually blonde or brunette, tall, nice figure, yeah. Lumps in all the right places. Very hard to come by when you get to my age. So, uh, they're very far move between. So, uh, yeah. You know, we're walking back towards the pier now. Anyway, that's our little bit of a blog for now. And, uh, yeah, well, not a lot to say really. Now, I will end on lockdown. As you're aware, the numbers are peaking again. Uh, I don't know if anybody's aware of this, but they are creeping up, and so are the deaths. And I've always said, I've always said, Bailey, that we should have left it another six weeks, and now we're going to pay the penalty, because it's going to come back with a vengeance. All you people are meeting up in big crowds and stuff. Bad news. Bad news. We're going to go back to square one. We're the worst country in the Europe... I think the world for contamination. <clears throat> so uh, stay safe, keep your two metres apart, and don't go out in big crowds. Anyway, that's me done for today. We'll, uh, we'll just stay online for a minute. Uh, always got a couple of doggies coming on, so. I always like to see how Bailey reacts to other dogs. We went out with this woman yesterday. She had three, uh, two, three dogs, two dogs. And, uh, yeah, they got on really well. But, uh, like I said, Bailey loves a good dig. So. Bless you, Bailey. One good tackling dog. You're getting a bit warm now. Bouncy, bouncy dogs. So. Oh, I think it's a PC. Oh, dog for that. Morning. Baby Lisa, happy digging for a stone. Problem is with Bailey, if we walk too far, they'll start to limp later. Because he's had a back, back leg, it's been a broken leg. And you watch when he runs, it pushes out. So it steers out. But uh, hey ho. There's two dogs out there. I think we're going to come off here. I do like to watch Bailey dig holes. The frustration on his face that I can't get to that stone. <laughs> but the thing is, if I let him have it, it'll just break his teeth. And there, and see you later. <laughs>